Tay 403. Hello YouTubers, Rob here. Um, trying to film this so the camera stays the right way around. It's proving more tricky because my, I've got a very simple mind. So today I'm going to show you very quickly, this is bottling day, and it's very easy actually this process, very um, comforting knowing that you've purged all the CO2, or sorry, all of the air out of the, the bottle with CO2. Put your star stain in, give it a good whiz around, a good spin, put it into the slot bucket. It's just a case of getting this, so this has been sterilised, um, you've got the adapter there from CO2 supermarket, and we're just going to put it in and purge the air until the smoke comes out, okay? You can see when you look inside, it's got a nice fog on it. Now from here, you can't really see this, but there's this kind of like swamp-like, um, Halloween-y kind of horror film cascading of the CO2 as it's coming out of the bottle, as the water displaces it, or as the beer displaces it. Um, I'm kind of getting good now at judging this, so I'm just doing it straight from the spigot without any tubes or anything. I've over shot that one slightly, because I'm under pressure. So, uh, if you've not got any, um, it doesn't actually foam up, you can't cap on foam, you can just apply a little bit more, just to make sure you're absolutely happy that this CO2 in there and nothing else. And pop your little cap on. Now what I'll do in a second is I'll do a big bottle and I'll set it up so you can see the cascading spooky Halloween look. It's coming up to Halloween soon, isn't it? So um, this one's been pre star sand as well. Oh yeah, let's put it on pause and get you in a good position so you can see. Right, give me one second guys, I'm just going to um, purge this bottle here, off cam. Perfect, and then we will unleash the beast. Full pelt, doesn't matter if you get any splashing of course, we're kind of aiming for a little bit of splashing as I might have already said. Try and encourage a few bubbles to the surface, so when it comes to putting the cap on, you can cap on foam. Um, as you can see here, you've got this glorious, I'm hoping it's been picked up by the camera, um, cascading um, of the CO2, showing that there's absolutely loads of CO2 in that bottle now. There we are. Job done. I'm not even that concerned about purging the headspace in this one, but I will. It's a nice little gentle bit. You pop your star stand cap on. So there's a couple of things I just want to talk about quickly. This is coming straight out of the fermenter. And um, really what allows me to do it straight out of the fermenter is that a few things. One, I've got a hop filter. Secondly, I've got a filter at the bottom of my boiler, which allows some, a lot of the, the kind of proteins to settle in there. It's like a secondary filter before it goes into here. Then I've got this bucket within a bucket method I use so I can um, wait till the, the, most of the fermentation's done. I can pull out the buckets. I can dry hop, of course, if I want to, which I did in this case. Pull out the bucket and that gets rid of all of kind of the, the yeast and it basically acts as a secondary without having to transfer it again. And then from there, you've just got your, your spigot straight out into the bottle. So I'm hoping for good things really and we'll see how it pans out. Right, take care then, bye.